I'm Daniel. And I'm Jay-Z. This is Just My DIY. We have an alcohol storage problem. But not for much longer. So we're going to take what you see before you here and mash it all together into one unique and aesthetically pleasing alcohol device of storage. Also known as a bar cart. <laughs> so you're going to take a few things that we picked up, such as wall-mounted wine racks. Fireplace essentials. And a variety of metal hardware. Including Wolverine's claws. Yeah. <laughs> you laugh. The wheels. <laughs> so we're going to take all these things and turn it into this. We're excited about this project. This is the first time working with metal. So let's get started. First things first, we plan to use the rails included with the firewood holder to support our bottom shelf, but we needed to move those down. So I started drilling new holes for that while Jay-Z took apart the wine rack. And just when we started to cut the bottom board for the shelf, we dripped the breaker, thanks to running a space heater. So it's like a heater. That's the only thing that's different. That thing must have a killer power draw. Which one is it? Top left. Anyway, once we got the power back on and the shelf cut, we moved on to cutting the wine rack pieces to fit the design with hope to make. We were planning to stack two rows on top of each other with the bottom row having fewer rings. And since we don't know how to weld, we opted for wrapping a thick copper wire between the two to attach them. But as Daniel quickly figured out, that was going to be easier said than done. Yeah, that's going to go into the not going to work column. So that was a giant nope. And this is the reason why. It was a flop. To our credit, we were planning on wrapping them a lot more with the wire, but realized really early on that it wasn't going to give us the rigidity that we needed to hold the top shelf up. So, so to Jay-Z's credit, we have like 10 wine racks to work with. And we're changing plans. This one. We picked this one because it was the most sturdy, but it had these diamond shaped connectors that were too angular for the design aesthetic and they were going to prove challenging to top with a shelf. So I went to work taking it apart so we could replace the diamonds with circular dowels, but it was a beast to take apart. And just when I thought I was done, I wasn't. Huh. One more. Okay, now I'm really done. A miter saw made it really easy to cut the dowels to the right length. I just set a stop block and went to town. For the top row, we were using quarter rounds. You'll see how that works out later. But then, we had to figure out how to cut a perfect cross with 90 degree angles. After much discussion and some trial and error, we figured it out. We bore a hole into a 2x4 with a Forstner bit. Once we had the hole drilled out, we made a slit just big enough for a brad nail to fit through it. When I was ready to make the cuts, all I needed was wood stacked just high enough for the blade on my oscillating multi-tool to hit dead center. Something to balance the back of the dowel so it stayed level, and a 2x4 to act as a stopper in the back. After making the horizontal cut, we turned the dowel 90 degrees, tapped a brad nail into the slit so as not to create another hole, and used that as a guide to keep the dowel from turning. The jig worked great, though it was still necessary to go slow and double check everything at literally every turn.
12 dowels later and we were ready for the next step. Sanding, of course. I used a power sander to clean up the edges of the dowels from when I cut them to length and took off the sharp edge. I used a piece of sandpaper to clean up the cross cuts, which made a huge difference. One last thing for the wine rack, paint. Done. We cut the shelves to length using the miter saw. I was so focused on getting the measurements right that I might have forgotten to turn off the heater. So you can guess what happened. Yep, through the breaker again. I finished the cut, made the second one, and we were ready to roll. Since the bottom shelf would be less deep than the top, we set the circular saw on a track to keep that line straight. We could sand with the 150 and then a 220 on the tops, sides, and bottoms, finished the prep for these. Then it was time to stain everything. We went with a pecan stain plus poly because it coordinates with the kitchen cabinets, which is where this piece will live when not in use. You can probably guess that a firewood holder isn't typically on wheels, but according to Jay Z, bar carts are. So I went to work drilling the holes in the feet while Jay Z brightened up the color from brass to more of a gold. Once I was done drilling the holes, I had to shorten the stems so that we could hide them under the acorn nuts. As silver isn't one of the colors of this bar cart, we spray painted all over the hardware either gold or black, depending on if Jay Z wanted to hide or accentuate. I let her make the design decisions. Otherwise, the server would have been just fine with me. <laughs> we actually created our own gold tipped bolts. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness a marriage between a wine rack and a Firewood holder, in the name of the Holy Spirits. You know it's about to happen. Let's do it. We had to put together the newly formed wine rack before we could decide where to put those top rails on the firewood rack. So I went to work putting it together while Daniel was working on a couple of other things. As soon as it was all together, we held it up to the firewood rack, decided the placement, and then Daniel went to work drilling the holes to move the rails up that would ultimately hold it. With how we were installing the top shelf, we were bending the tops of the rails so that we could keep everything nice and level. We're going to use an aluminum angle bar to mount the back side of the shelf, which Jay Z spray painted black. We pre drilled some holes to mount our angled aluminum bar in the bandwidth. One element that we really wanted to have for our bar cart was some sort of a rail to help the liquor on the bottom stay in place as we were moving the cart around. So we drilled some holes and inserted some copper wire into the holes to create a sort of barrier that added a little bit of flair but wasn't too obtrusive or make it hard to get the alcohol out. And for another nice little touch of flair, we decided to add some decorative corners that I had spray painted black onto the top and bottom shelves. Since there were brackets that fit, we had to make our own in order to mount the bottom board into place. Since we're mounting our quarter rounds to the bottom of our top shelf, here we're pre-drilling and following up with a countersink. We did this because we wouldn't be able to reach this very easily because the wine rack is mostly assembled at this point. 
For the handle, we got a smaller dowel, cut it down, and then use standard L brackets to mount it to the top shelf. As always, pre-drilling before we screwed them in. We decided to use a multi-tool to cut the slits for the dowel to fit as a handle. And then we glued it in place. It's important to center the rack, which we did, and then drilled it into place. And so in the quarter rounds is a meticulous task. Well, we pre-drilled them and then set it up so that we could actually screw them in by hand because otherwise the angles were just too goofy. I'm super excited about this finally coming together. Just a couple of screws in the top rail to attach the wine rack. Put the copper pieces in place and then it was bolting on the wheels, which was a delicate task because we had spray painted the bolts that needed to be tight. But once all of that was done, man was it worth it. True story. We made this. We did. And I really think it's all the little details that really brought it together instead of making it look like, hey, we put a wine rack on a firewood rack. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked it too. And if you did, you should click the subscribe, the like, and the start date over. <laughs> What he was trying to say is <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe, like, ring the bell so you'll get notified. And if you're not watching this on our website, head over to JustMikeDIY.com for more tips, tutorials, backstories, and more. We're going to take this and go get ourselves a drink. Yes. Yes, we are. Take it, take it, take it, take it.